it's very challenging to do um, definitive trials in rare diseases. Um, and so we knew that from the onset. So, you know, the design of the trial, we thought very carefully about, about how can we maximally utilize the, the rare patients and how can we actually get this trial done. Um, so the trial design actually only required um, accrual of 80 patients with a mutation and allowed accrual up to 120. Um, and so over the course of three years, we actually accrued a total of 98 patients across 15 sites um, to do this randomized trial. Um, the primary endpoint was progression-free survival. There was no way we were going to be able to accrue enough patients to actually show a survival advantage, but we wanted to look at that anyway. And so the bottom line is that when we look at the final data, the progression-free survival was doubled from seven weeks with chemotherapy to 15.9 weeks with selametinib uh, in the overall population as well as in the population of patients um, who harbored GNAQ and GNA11 exon 5 mutations. Um, and so we, we did hit that primary endpoint. Hazard ratio was 0 0.46, highly statistically significant. So um, although the numbers are small, I think that's very believable. Um, furthermore, we did see an increased response rate or tumor shrinkage, which does demonstrate biologic activity with selametinib, with, more, with about half of the patients who were treated with this drug having some tumor shrinkage, and major response seen in seven uh, of the patients. So 15% of the patients had major, major shrinkage. Uh, and when you look at the history of clinical trials conducted in this, um, in this disease, response rates of over 5% um, really just don't happen. And so while the 15% is somewhat modest, perhaps, um, uh, given the, the response to this uh, disease to other therapies, I think it is quite significant. And then the trend towards overall survival is certainly just that a trend, but certainly I think it is encouraging, um, particularly uh, given the crossover design of this trial.